Who goes there? It is I, the Reverend Hale. I have come to say a prayer for John Proctor. Despite his troubled mind and recent contempt, he is still a man of God, and I wish to pray for his salvation. Reverend, no ministers are allowed at this hour. The judge and court has decreed it. Hmm. Look thither! It be the devil himself! Right, right. <laughs> Proctor! Proctor! Oh, hail! Thank goodness it's you! How manages my dear Elizabeth? I, uh, we must converse hither. Come quickly now. Let us leave this dark place behind. How have you been faring thus far? Oh, it hath not been easy. For the past few days I've heard no news from the town. I wish I had better news to share with you. But no one anymore is safe from the accusation of witchery. I don't know who runs Salem anymore, grown men or teenage girls. All order that ever existed is now lost. Even your even your dear Elizabeth, she's sentenced to be hanged by her ponytails in two days' time. If her hair supports her, she'd be a witch. If not, she'll be bald and dead. This is madness. It cannot be. Why would these teenage girls want to accuse any other person of witchcraft? We're all good people in Salem. And now, my poor Elizabeth. Worry not. She is safe for the time being. But there are others now who are being threatened as we speak. Come quickly now. Ah, now who do we have here? Just... Just a good, humble, innocent Christian woman. I've been going to church since I were a little girl. I assure you, I have done no witchcraft, nor will I do any bewitching. Please, I have done nothing wrong. And what proof do we have to prove she's a witch? We have a witness. Bring in Mercy Lewis. Well, about a month ago, she told me my bonnet was too tight. That made me awful angry, but before I could say anything, I felt... Two burning hands upon my throat, squeezing, squeezing so tight I could barely breathe. I swear I saw the black light of Lucifer shining through her right then and there. There is no doubt she had been dealing with the devil only moments before. I tell you, the devil's mistress sits before you. I have not laid an injuring hand on no one. I, I, I swear I wish no evil on anyone. Therefore, I've heard enough. I'd like to see this manifestation of the devil in woman's form hanging by morrow at dawn. There is no evil inside of me. I do not consort with the devil. Please, you mustn't. Please, I'm too young to die so early a death. Hmm. Then you shall hang tomorrow at midday. She shall hang. Next witch, enter. Now who might this accused witch be? This is Snuggly Peaches, the Cory's dog. First Goody Cory were accused of witchcraft after she were caught with books. What could a woman possibly want with them with books? Then her husband, Giles Cory, were convicted of court contempt. It is no surprise that this dog is a devil's minion as well. Very well. But what proof do we have of this keenness that divergence to the devil? J -j just look at him, sir. It is so obvious. <clears throat> ah, I see it now. Very well. In the name of our gracious God, Snuggly Peaches, I hereby sentence you to hang by the scrub till dead on the morrow, unless you wish to confess to your crimes. What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. No confession? I didn't think so. Take the witch away! So after we slept last night, my wife said, Let me I was thinking, of course, I'd sooner burn in hell than in the paper pots, dear. <laughs> so what did I call her? A stupid witch! <laughs> that got her scrubbing. Oh, you should have seen the look on her face. She looked like she thought she'd be hanging the next day. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh, women. Oh, uh, can't live with them, can't live without them. Uh, is that a woman doing arithmetic? And reading? Is, is she educated? Witch! 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 Elizabeth! Elizabeth! So much just happened in so little time! No, dear. Nothing's the same anymore. I'm just cuddling like they're bulging vice. John, I fear for my life. I promise you, I promise you, Elizabeth, I will do everything in my power. 
to ensure that you do not hang by your father on tomorrow. We will be reunited soon, dear. John, we must leave at once. I have no doubt the Count people are searching for you. I'm afraid that evil monster Abigail has her black heart set on your ruin. With every hour, the hysteria grows with Abigail at its lead. Because of her and her two cohorts, two women have already been hanged along with Snuggly Peaches. <sighs> I think I'll miss Snuggly Peaches most of all. <laughs> if we stay here, we will meet the same fate. Let's go! Elizabeth! Proctor, Proctor, come quickly now! What is it? What has happened? It's your wife Elizabeth. She will be hanged within the hour. Oh. What, sir? That can't be! Elizabeth was supposed to hang in another day's time. I speak only the truth. Hasten with me now to the hanging platform and see for yourselves. Oh. Not Elizabeth! Not Elizabeth! We have decided to hasten these proceedings and hang this witch a day early. For every minute that she stands alive in this town, she expands the devil's influence on our society. On this day, Elizabeth Proctor shall hang by the follicles until dead. And if her hair support the weight of her body, she shall be a witch. Let her hang. Down. Wow, that's a unexpected. Was she not a witch? No, no, of course she were a witch. Ah, I see it now. The devil has left her the moment he sensed the danger of Goody Proctor's death, for he is an evil coward. He still lurks. We must fight, rid the land of his fiery grasp. Kill the witchers. He still lurks. Find the witches and kill them. No, Elizabeth. Oh, sweet Elizabeth. Even death has not tarnished your natural beauty. So kind, so honest, so gentle. If only I could speak with you once more. What else could this cruel world inflict upon me? I promise you, I promise. I will burn in hell for this, my wife. But I mean to avenge you, dear Elizabeth. I will avenge you. I take it on my soul. Abigail, beware, for you will die for this. I swear it. Ah, a good week's work. Let's see. Accuse the quarries and have them hanged? Reason. To take all of Goody Quarry's jewelry. Check. Accuse Snuggly Peaches and have him hanged? Reason. Too yappy. Check. Accuse Goody Proctor and have her hanged? Reason. I want her handsome husband free of any baggage before I am to be his wife. Check. Plans for the Mar. Well, Proctor, what a pleasant surprise. Have you come to ask me something? Ah, out of all the accused witches in this ruined town of Salem, you, Abigail, are the only true witch. You are wicked indeed. You are a blight on this world. My wife, Elizabeth, dead, dead, and countless others. This hysteria will end the same way it started. With a lying bitch! Do you mean a lying witch? No! We are